All right, so let's begin with the G. Randy Roberts Service Award, an annual award named after the late 2005 OAA president and in memory of his involvement in and dedication to the profession. The award recognizes OAA members for extraordinary service to the membership, members who have demonstrated behind the scenes dedication and action, those who get things done because they believe they need to be done. They embody the skills and the energy required and are not motivated by a desire for recognition or reward. This is the first time ever a woman of color has been recognized for this award. This year's worthy recipient is Camille Mitchell. In the struggle to build equality and opportunity in the architectural profession, Camille Mitchell is a standout leader. An architect with the Toronto office of the global design firm, Gensler Camille leverages her achievements in architecture to advocate for the involvement of underrepresented groups in the design of their built environments. A founding member of the Building Equality and Architecture Toronto and the Black Architects Plus Interior Design Association, Camille is also a prominent figure in the academic community, serving as an advisor to universities, providing guidance and oversight to the review and new initiatives within the current curriculum. In 2021, the Royal Architecture Institute of Canada selected Camille to become an advisor for its Prom Promoting Justice and Equity Committee. She was also nominated to join the Urban Lands Institute's Women in Leadership Initiative Championship team, whose mandate is to advance women in the real estate and construction industry. A powerful me mentor, advocate, tireless positive force, architect and ambassador for the profession, Camille exemplifies all of the qualities embodied by the G. Randy Roberts Service Award. I would like uh, to invite Camille to the podium to say a few words. Come on up here. Com congratulations. Congratulations, Angela. You're fabulous. Um, no, good. <laughs> good. Thanks. I would first like to thank the OAA, the nominating committee, and those that nominated me to be here. I often say as architects, we're, I often compare the profession to a puppeteer because we influence shape, we create space, we influence um, your, your reaction and your experience. Also, in 2007, I was confronted with the fact that 0.2% of licensed architects in the United States are black women. So if you round up, if you round down, that's still zero. So knowing this information, and I, and I say this because I think as architects, we have to understand we're not immune to changing the narrative. So I think in the last few years, we've become experts on counting the missing and, and acknowledging what's missing and who's missing from the table. But now it's time for us to do something about it. So I use this knowledge um, to guide me with my work with building quality and architecture, with my work with beta, and also, um, I currently sit um, as an advisor to the University of Waterloo, to I, the school formerly known as Ryerson, and OCAD University. So, sorry, forgot its name. Um, um, so I say that I encourage everyone to take the challenge and do something with that. And of first, and but most importantly, every every initiative, challenge, organization. I've been a part of, I could not have done it alone. So friends and family in this room, um, also those taking this in from Hamilton or from the sweet island of Trinidad and Tobago, thank you, I love you, to the executive committee of Beat and Beta, to I think of um, managing principals at Gensler at KPMB who supported me always, thank you. Camille almost had me crying up here. What a great speech and what great stuff. And you know what, it's important because I get asked all the time by young people, you know, what should I do, what should I do? And they all want to get into TV because they think it's glamorous and it's like, okay. Um, but now I'll tell them like, no, become an architect. There are not enough architects. Go and build something, create something. So thank you and congratulations once again, Camille.